We also have breaking news at this hour. A Zebulon man accused of holding a German woman against her will and sexually assaulting her may have had more victims. Derek Waller just got the search warrants into the sex slave case. He's live in Zebulon with the details. Derek. Well, Sean, police say that 44-year-old Robert Whiteside had a makeshift bedroom inside this warehouse where he kept the woman. But now, according to search warrants, we just got our hands on this afternoon. Police believe she may not be the only one. The investigator on the case tells me that they are interviewing other women, including former girlfriends and love interests, to see if they were also trafficked for sex. Last month, Whiteside was charged with human trafficking and assault by strangulation. He was ordered to wear a GPS tracking device and not leave the state. Zebulon police say he met his victim online and flew her to the U.S. in early June. The victim told police she had been held captive, physically and sexually assaulted, and stripped of her finances. In court, Whiteside denied the charges. Now, we also learned today that police executed a search warrant on a safety deposit box at a local bank here belonging to Whiteside. In that box, they found a car and boat titles as well as $20,000 in cash. We're live in Zebulon. Derek Waller, WNCN News. All right, Derek Waller with the latest. Derek, thank you.